the Kingdom of Asturias, Avila and Alfonso I. After the Battle of Covadonga, in which the governor Munuza, in which ruled the local region of Asturias for the Umayyad caliphs, was dislodged because of the defeat, Pedro de Cantambria, also known as Peter of Cantambria, a local duke in the region, sent his son to the court of Pelagius at Cangas de Ones. Eventually, his son named Afonso and Pelagius' daughter named Hermesindra would marry. This marriage would provide a union between the court of Pelagius and the Duke of Cantambria, essentially expanding the realm of Asturias further. Alfonso would later be the successor as king of Pelagius. Pelagius' reign would be of 18 to 19 years. A shrine would be erected in time at the place where the battle of occurred in Covadonga. His histories would become the stuff of legends and a symbol of Christian resistance at the medieval Iberia. With many Visigothic nobles pledging themselves to Pelagius, and who else was discontent with the Umayyad Caliphate occupation of Iberia? Now let us move outside of Iberia for a while and return our attention to the Umayyad Caliphate. The Caliphate itself is stretched across from the borders with India to the Iberia Peninsula. The Caliphate was literally at war with most of its neighborhoods. But despite this, the Caliph Uisa ibn Abd al-Malik was an effective one. Patron of the arts, he normally encouraged the building of schools and translation of numerous literature and scientific works of Chuara Abbey. Continuing reforms of Umas II in terms of education for everyone on the Muslim realm. However, despite this, the caliphate itself stretched itself across to an enormous territory and faced numerous distinct problems, both in terms of infrastructure to also of the kinds of essentially draining its manpower to several distinct front lines across its borders. Incursions and raiding from the Caucasus by the Khazars and the Turkish, a Turkic tri tribal confederation. Rebellions, rebellions and sent on the Indian provinces, in which eventually killed the Hindu leader with Arab governors of Sindh constantly keeping in check the Indian kingdoms. Regular raids and attacks on the Empire of the Romans, or Basileia Ton Romanium, while still being forced to divert resources and manpower to settle the occupation of the Iberia Peninsula, while still pushing into Gaul. Despite all of this, it can be said that Malik also largely ignored or didn't bother as much about the pressure of rebellions, rebellions and minor states like the Kingdom of Asturias. At the Battle of River Garonne, defeating Odo, Duke of Acteni, in which its armies were led by Abdul Rahman al Kagif Kavik, governor of Al Andalus. Odo would survive the battle and then recognize Charles Martel of the Franks as his ruler, in which he would culminate at the Battle of Tours, with a resounding defeat for the Umayyad Caliphate. Essentially, the governor Abdul Rahman al Kadvik didn't thought the Franks would come to the age of Odo of Aquitaine, since they were rivals. All the sources mentioned he simply didn't care thus forcing the Umayyad Caliphate to retreat from Gaul. Nevertheless, in 735, the Umayyads once again would invade Gaul, establishing themselves in Septimania and part of the region of Provence. Eventually, it would result at the Battle of River Bear, effectively preventing an expansion of the Caliphate beyond the Pyrenees. A true of Narbonne remaining with the Muslims for some time still. During this period, after the setbacks in Gaul and that the resistance was still happening of Christians in the, at the Iberian Peninsula, it happened in the Berber Revolt, marking the first succession of the Caliphate. The Revolt Essentially, the reasons of the revolt were the policies of the Umayyads governors within the Maghreb region and Al Andalus. The Arabs constantly threatened the local population of Moors, Christians, and Jewish minorities. 
on these regions as second-class citizens. Although the Berbers had undertaken much of the fighting in the Umayyad conquests of Iberia, they were given less a share of the spoils and frequently assigned to the harsher duties. The Arab governors also continuously kept raising the demon taxation or non-Muslim protection taxes. And slave tributes or non-Arab populations that converted to Islam in direct contravention of Islamic law. The Karajit radicals started to preach to the resentful Berbers, in particular around the 720 the ideas of an equal Islam and Islamic law would be adhered to the appeal of the Karajit radicals. Was this for the Berbers regiments and population centers with sporadic immunities by the Berbers. That happened from 729 to 731 in Al Andalus. We were put down with difficulty. The failure of the incursions in Gaul only made the Muslims to further increase the taxation. The Umayyads following Ubayyid Allah ibn al Habna. Instructions with Omar Ibil al Moradi, his deputy governors in Tangier, decided to declare the Berbers in his jurisdiction a conquered people, and set about seizing Berber properties and slaving persons, as per rules of conquest. Other accounts state that he simply doubled the, tri the tribute. With this spark in the rebellion, led initially by the tribe tribe Shiftam Maisara after the general Habib Im Abi Obeida al Frivi had left the two Sicily with troops to attack the empire of the Romans. Maisara killed the governor Omar Ibn al Moradi, capturing Tangiers and swept across the western Morocco, overwhelming Umayyad garrisons. While the chaos erupted in North Africa and the Umayyad Caliphate started to crumble in the region, at Al Andalus in Iberia, fearing a similar rebellion where the Berbers' numbers were even larger in comparison to the Arabs, the Andalusian Arab elite quickly deposed Uqba ibn al Hajja and reinstated his predecessor, Abd al Malik ibn Qatan al Fri a more popular figure among local Arabs and Berbers alike. Eventually, at the rebellion would happen the Battle of Bagdora at Fez, near the city of Tangents, where a much larger Berber army upon the 200,000 would defeat the Umayyad troops, including the Syrian expedition of 30,000 troops that came as reinforcements, literally vanquishing the Umayyad hold on the region, revolting all, all Andalus. While the coup installing Abd al-Malik ibn Qatan al Fri had been fails, a fail-safe device, the news of the Battle of Baghdad spread, with a general Berber uprising happening all over the place, Berber garrisons mutinied, discarding the Arabic commanders. The Berber armies would reorganize themselves in three columns, one to take Cal Toledo, one to take Cordoba, and another to take Algeciras, where the Berbers would hope to seize the Andalusian fleet for additional troops from North Africa. Favila of Asturias was the only saw of Pelagius and assumed as the second king of Asturias. After his father's death, he founded the Church of Santa Cruz at the capital of Cangas de Ones. Not too much is known about his reign. Other than he was mauled by a bear while out in a hunt as to make better political ties with his court. Succeeding him was Alfonso the First. Alfonso the First, meanwhile, with these revolts, Alfonso as soon as a year after the death of Favela, in which was the successor of Pelagius as king of Asturias, brought Asturias troops as to conquer Galicia in 740 AD sensing the weakness within the Umayyads. With the frontier garrison suddenly evacuated the Christian kingdom of Alfonso I of Asturias, the successor, could not believe his luck and set about dispatching Asturian troops to take the empty forts with remarkable ease and swiftness. 
the Northwest was captured and the banks of the Upper Ebro were raided by Afonso I and permanently lost to all Andalus. The Asturians devastated several thousand villages on the banks of the Douros River and carried off local populations in the Galician Leonese lowlands back to the mountains, creating an empty buffer zone on the Douros River Valley. Between the Asturias in the north and the, the Al Andalus in the south, this empty frontier would remain for the next few centuries, giving origin to the Magaratos, the true Berber communities that eventually converted to Christianity. Alfonso I would also raid and conquer a portion of the Basque region from the Duke of Vasconia, that was part of the Frankish kingdom, with eventually conquering Leon by 750. 4 AD. As far as La Rioja, from now the Emirate of Cordoba after the Berber revolts and the deposal of the Umayyads, keeping policy of empty buffer zones with all Andalus depopulating regions and sending the population to the mountains. More than doubling the territory of the kingdom, Alfonso I was also credited in establishing the shrine of Our Lady of Covadonga, which he and his queen, Emesindre, are interred there. The following inscriptions. Here lies the Catholic and Holy King Don Alfonso I and his wife, Dona Emesindra, sister of Don Favila, to whom he succeeded. This king won many victories against the Moors. He died in Cangas in the year 757 AD. Back to the Muslim world, the same was in turmoil. The third fifteenth was in full swing, with a series of civil wars and uprisings against the Umayyad Caliphate, which would culminate in the establishment of the Abbasid Caliphate. The Berbers would fail to take over Cordoba and Abd al-Rahman, the first, a prince of the deposed Umayyad royal family, refused to recognize the Abbasid Caliphate authority and would establish the Emirate of Cordoba in 756 AD becoming independent. However, the first unification of Al Andalus would take over 25 years to be completed by the Emirate of Cordoba. Appeal. The rebellions across the Maghreb and Al Andalus of the Berbers with the disintegration of the Umayyad hegemony in the region, the defeats in Gaul provided the opportunity for the Asturians to not only double their territory, but even conquer regions at the frontier with the Franks and assert themselves in the region. Despite the buffer zone policies, no longer the Umayyads and, and not even the Emirates of Cordoba eventually would come to take over so much territory as they did in the past. The Iberian Peninsula now being divided was the center and the south and its east under Muslim occupation, and the north under the Christian realm of Asturias.